What's that hum? Jesus, H. You hear it? I hear it like a hiss. Oh, there it is. I got it. I've isolated it. Oh, I couldn't it. hear that. The Q speaker. You hear it now? Yeah. Trying to do my show. They must have turned it up again. Yeah, yeah. Every, you know what it is? This is every Monday. i got to fix the equipment in here. Now, should that be that way? Or is that broken? Well, does that sound right to you, Robin? No. All right. <laughs> Ah, here's Scott. You gonna Scott? Then what is this? To fix it up? You know, everything on my show is is okay. It's like anything goes. Oh, Howard made it funny. We gotta go back to the shop. We gotta go back to the shop. Yeah. You fixed it? Yeah. That's this. Yes. I still no, hear you it. got rid of it. I still hear it. Let me see. Yeah. Still, still there. there, but all right. Okay, don't listen. It's crazy to fix stuff on the air. But they don't fix it. That's the whole point. Yeah, I know. They turn it down while you're here. Scott, who turns that up during the weekend? Huh? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Um. I. I. I um. Uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let him talk first. Well, your belly's getting bigger. What, did you have a big weekend? <laughs> Come on, is he fat? He's wearing a, t a sweatshirt that's three times too small for him. It's really an attractive look. Thanks. Uh, <coughs> um, I don't know. It, you know, the, the, yeah. the knobs are by people's legs. Oh, oh, I see. So maybe they kick them. Yeah. But well, why is it always Monday? Good design. This studio is really well thought out. I got to tell you, it's, it's, we, we work in a little tiny studio that is so small that the disc jockey, his feet will bang into any important piece of equipment. Like, this stuff's got to be important down here. I and you're banging it. it all the time, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised I haven't knocked us off the air a few times. Well, I, that won't knock us off the Which air. Which one? This will knock us off the air? He Which one won't. won't? Oh, it won't? I can't understand him. He's so groggy and dull. No, that won't. That won't? Will any of these knock us off the air? No, not any of those. All right, thank you. None of those. Uh, None of those. Uh, you just leave me alone so I can play rotisserie baseball. <laughs> Scott, do you look in the mirror before you get dressed? I mean, do you see that your whole belly is sticking you, you out? You must get dressed in the dark. No. What do you? If you get a free sweatshirt, you wear it no matter what size it is? Is that it? No. <laughs> not true. <laughs> well, why did you pick that on some today? Yeah. <laughs> do you see the size <laughs> of that T-shirt? Oh, I needed something to go with my printed hat. As he gets up, you know, because the, uh, the, the, the jeans are nowhere near his waist. I know. Like, they're riding his hips somewhere. Scott's one of those guys who puts on a pair of jeans, then he loads his pockets up with his wallet and a whole bunch of other things. And he's got big bulges coming out of the sides of his legs. And then he's got a, uh, he's got a free sweatshirt on, which is uh, Pig Vomit. <clears throat> From Pig Vomit, which is uh, my band. From the Pig Vomit collection. Yeah, and it's, it's real small, the sweatshirt. And his whole belly sticks out. And it's stretched out at the bottom, so it's not hitting, you know, anywhere near his body either. And then he has a... He's like floating. And then he has a big Planet Hollywood hat on, so everything on him is like free. He's an ad. He's a walking yeah. ad. And everywhere you look on Scott, there's a billboard. My forehead is for rent. <laughs> Maybe he should just wear a sandwich board. Okay. <laughs> he takes being unattractive to a new level. He really does. He just, it's an art form with him. How can he be more repulsive? And the, and the best part is that you know that when you bend over, you crack. You, you, you yeah. hit everybody with that crack, don't you? Oh, yeah. When he's, he was down oh. here on his knees fixing the equipment, the big crack. The magic crack. <laughs> That's what gets the ladies. I love yes. <laughs> They hypnotize by my butthole. <laughs> I wink at them. <laughs> That's like get some. <laughs> and he's got a, a sweatshirt on. The, the, the sleeves aren't long enough, so his big hairy arms have to stick out. <laughs> long enough? Are <laughs> they? Let's see. Pull it down. Oh, he's just been working oh, hard. Yeah. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the shop. <laughs> no, no. It's gone. It's gone? Mm -hmm. Why? Where's your hair? No. I took it off. Oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. What? You just decided uh -oh. you're going to be bald again? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, Put the hair well back. Tell no. us and, and show us. Let me see. No. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Get your hair back. What's wrong with you? You were looking so much better. Oh, my. <laughs> Did you get into a fight with men's hair now? No. No, they're, they're wonderful. Oh, they're tug yeah. of oil for my tube. <laughs> Where's your hair? 
Aren't you going to put it back? Scott's not wearing his hair. I know. Oh. Aren't you cold? <laughs> oh, that's why I have the hat on. Maybe you lost it to Richie Herbie in that stupid baseball game. <laughs> yeah. Did you Did you make a big bet and did lose you your hair? Your hair? <laughs> I'll never gamble again. <laughs> my beauty. I'm like Samson. I got mugged. I lost Did you my really? Hair. No. So when some guy mugged you and took your hair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's possible. What, did you leave it on top of the car like you yeah. did your money? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, where's your hair, man? What happened? You just decided to be bald again? Yeah. Why? I I don't want it anymore. Oh, you don't want hair anymore? No. no. Yeah, but, but don't you care about what other people think? Don't you care about... Don't you care about us? We have to look at you. Yeah, we're the ones who have to look at you. You should care about well, your I have hair. a hat on, that's why. Oh, all right. Well, I'll wear a hat. Well, as long as you wear a hat. Okay. Because you are so bald. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how bald he is. Bolder than bald. That's amazing. When did Do this happen? Again. When did it happen that you decided to go without your hair? Saturday. Just a spur of the moment decision? That was it. You just decided, hey, I'm going to be bald. I don't care what people think. Mm hmm. That's how I am. You don't want to be sure. handsome anymore. Uh, did it really improve my looks? Yeah. Okay. It, it did. did. It did. It made you less younger. offensive. There's more going on here, Howard. Something going on. There's some good story here. No. 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 Intrigue. You got to pull the damn story out. There's no story. I just decided that I didn't want it anymore. You don't want hair anymore. I just decided that. It's a no. You enjoyed your hair. You loved your hair. You loved having hair, and I it looked it good. I with me every night. Yeah. I loved my Did hair. Did you sleep with it? Of course. Wow. It was always on. Wow. Yeah. And you just <laughs> ripped it off, Sally. Well, I just didn't <laughs> rip it off, but, uh... Uh-huh. I took it off. <laughs> I took it off. I just decided... That's a major decision not to have oh, hair yeah. anymore. And he's just like, I took my hair off. Yes. <laughs> You've been trying to get hair. I finally get here, and now I took it off. Hmm. Should I be 15 years older? Hmm. Hmm. Should I look like Methuselah? I figured I'd look as old as my lungs. Yeah, it's 79. After I found out my lungs were 79, I thought I'd make my Might face well look, look that way. <laughs> okay. About whatever there's you no, want. There's no big story about it. I just decided I didn't want it. And where were you when you decided? At home. You were at home, and mm -hmm. you just turned to your wife and kids and said, I don't want my hair anymore. I just looked in the mirror and said, eh, enough. Enough. Enough, hair, enough, enough with hair. Enough yeah. with the hair. I've had enough with my hair. Yes. <laughs> I can grow it back in it. Could you get it back? Does your kid call you grandpa now? <laughs> or he'll say, who's the strange man in mommy's bed? Uh, <laughs> who's that strange man? Who's that old, old man? Is that grandpa? What is grandpa doing sleeping with mommy? No, I'm your father. <laughs> Captain Skinhead. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> I'm a new superhero. Captain Skinhead. <laughs> this is my alter ego. <laughs> I'm Scott the Engineer. With my alter ego, Captain Skinhead. <laughs> the only superhero that smokes. <laughs> I have the lungs of a 79-year-old superhero. <laughs> I am the only superhero that smokes. <laughs> <laughs> the only superhero that smokes. There you go. When you're super, you can smoke. <laughs> smoke, man. I'm vulnerable to kryptonite <laughs> and best of. <laughs> I can fly on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> With my secret sound that I make. <laughs> I can... off evil spirits. <laughs> hey, you. Drop that gun. <laughs> I slay all enemies with my... <laughs> like Captain Skinhead. <laughs> like ping pong here. Dick. I can't believe you took your hair off. Oh, this is major. Man. This is. Let me see it. Take off your hat. Take off your hat. <laughs> oh, my. You know what you ought to do? You want my advice, oh. man? Because you've got like a little bit of hair on top. I got a little, yeah. Still a little Why don't you just shave that off? Yeah, because yeah, it, looks, it looks really odd. It's like little tiny yeah, pubic little hairs. Whiff. Yeah, there's, little, there's little tiny pubic hairs. How does left. that happen? You know, you lose everything, but yeah. you keep like three strands up there. I know, there, I know. It's you... weird. Like a and couple of strands survive. It's cruel. You know? Yeah, and it makes it look even more bald. Because <laughs> you don't know what to do with it. Right, that. exactly. Look at that. God, you're bald. Oh, you are God. so I bald. I forgot. You that forget. is real bald. Now you realize how good that, that hair was. It really was. That's why I'm surprised you took it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scott, please. You look 100 years old. I feel a hundred. Too bad you can't take your whole head off. <laughs> you know. You know he's got two chins. Is what he's got. He got one on the top of his head. Yeah. And one on the bottom. Oh.
He looks the same upside down. That's right. That's what I'm saying. You and there's all him. and there's all sweat and stuff on top of his head. I guess that's from the Planet Hollywood hat. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> A lot doing up there. <laughs> I can't. So, what do you? Where were you when this happened? In, the, in what were you smoking? Was it? Yeah, in the I was morning? smoking. Of course. Yeah. There's always a cigarette there. I, whenever I make a major life decision, I smoke. <laughs> Please, between cigarette? the 60th or the 70th, I decided to take it off. <laughs> First I had a cigarette, and then I ripped off What time head. of day did you decide this? Had it been building in you? Yeah, it had. Yeah, I was thinking about it for a couple of weeks. It's Why? Like a big ham what volcano. was bothering you? It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. This, this is me. Ego. I mean, you know, this is me. <laughs> I am bold man. <laughs> I don't care what the world thinks. <laughs> I am shy. I've You're gotta be me. <laughs> I've got to be <laughs> me. <laughs> so what? So so, like you'd been thinking about this for how long? A couple weeks. Did you discuss it with anybody? Couple weeks. Uh, <laughs> he's a noise he makes now. Couple weeks. <laughs> 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 That's like pre. <laughs> <laughs> It's building up to it like a wind up on a pitch. <laughs> I've been thinking about it a couple of weeks. <laughs> Did he discuss it with his wife? Oh, yeah. Did she know that you were going to do this? Mm hmm. Did she vote yay she or voted, nay? She voted yay. 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 She, she'd rather have me. Oh, that's her all. Probably said, well, I got his hair out of the house. Maybe I'll get him out of the house. <laughs> First his hair. Then him. <laughs> but leave your cigarettes. I'll get rid of him a little at a time. <laughs> I got enough hair on the rest of now the Now throw your feet out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just decided, and your wife doesn't care because no, she, she met your bald. She'd rather have me like this. Right. She said, oh, you look much better. Really? Yeah. Do you Good know Lord, you... is her her eyesight bad? <laughs> She's short. Oh, I don't think she was wearing her glasses at the time. Now she can run her fingers through my scalp. <laughs> oh, no can... kidding. No more hair. And that's it. We'll never see your hair again. You're never going to try to have hair again. <laughs> it's always so funny when Scott nope. gets in a mood to improve his appearance. Oh, he starts losing was... weight. And... Who said it was improving? Oh, come on. The hair was definitely a big improvement. Oh, that? Oh. Mm. I traded my comb in for a washcloth. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny to me? That he has the hair, you know, again, he's got the hair curling up in the back. Yeah. He hasn't cut it. Well, yeah. I have yeah. to get it cut. He's going to keep that long. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Fry a ponytail stop. now. He'll be one of those he's... bald guys with a ponytail. Yeah. Friar Scott. Did the lung test have anything to do with this? No. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me a sense of my more... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so what are you going to do? Just walk around with a hat now, or are you going to no, eventually... You, you were embarrassed to take your hat off, I guess. Well, it was a shock, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a I didn't want to scare, I didn't, I didn't want to a, scare anybody. Well, it was a shock, shock, wasn't it? But if you were going to do that, you might as well come in and <laughs> show us right away. What's this hat business? Hey, by the way, tonight at E... On the 11 o'clock show, uh, it's Scott's Lung Test, if you want to tune oh, in. Uh, I'd like to see that again. Yes, it yes. was very upsetting. Yes. <laughs> and after that, they asked me to be the host of Skinhead Soup. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever spit, or are you just keep... <laughs> yeah, just, no. <laughs> no, internal gurgling. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love the studio like a audience. Pot. What? I love the studio audience. Yes. Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. Yeah, right right now. Get off my head. <laughs> <laughs> Is Ralph going to powder your head before you walk in here? He should. So the he show. Yeah. Well, tell Ralph to get some extra powder. Have to apply it with a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my makeup mattress? <laughs> Wow. Wow, just like that. No inside scoop. You're not going to tell the audience anything. You're not going to tell people at home why you removed your hair. I just decided to do it. Uh, and what happened? Were you sitting there with hair at home? One and, minute it was I and had hair, go, and the next minute I had And no you went hair. into the bathroom, and like you just ripped it off your head? Yeah. Did your son scream? <laughs> no. Hmm. What did your son say? What happened to my hair? Well, yeah. yeah that's all what? Said. Here's an impression of me doing an impression of my son. What happened to your hair? <laughs> Daddy, what happened to your hair? <laughs> you speak in a monotone. I know. I, I, I know. 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 <laughs> 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 
All right, Scott. Well, good luck with you with your hair. Thank you. All right, very so good. Kind. Where is the hair now? Is it at your house? At home. It you is? have one of those little white uh, head things. Yeah, do you have like a, a wig stand? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Is it in a drawer? It's in a drawer, yeah. I'm hiding it. It's in a cage. <laughs> I may put it on again. I mean, uh, with my parrot. <laughs> we got to get one of those little mannequin heads and keep it in here. Yeah. Can you bring it in? Can, we keep it in Can we keep your hair here? Like in the Wig Hall of Fame? <laughs> Do you mind? Because what I'll do is I'll put it up right by my sign here for the E-Show. Can you bring it in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. We get one of those uh, Look like wig heads. Scalp. Yeah, and whenever I can't stand looking at you, I'll just throw the hair on you. He looks like he's been scalped. <laughs> it's true. Scott, would you run into some Indians? I'd say like a pilgrim. Yes. <laughs> Burnt down the house and took his wife. <laughs> <laughs> but all he lost was his hair. Those dirty, rotten redskins. Yeah. They rape all women and take off food. 30 years from now, I'll be reunited with his son, and his son will have to decide whether to stay with the Indians or go back with him. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying with the Indians. <laughs> Uh, you're a stranger to me. No, Daddy, I'm staying with your hair. <laughs> My name is now Dances with Hair Pieces. <laughs> My Indian name is Smokey. <laughs> Sitting butt. Go have a cigarette. You're going to need one. I know. Are you gonna go? He goes right out and smokes oh, after we get done with him. This makes him so nervous. He has to have I'm not nervous. He gets in there. You get upset. Well, be nervous. You get upset. Right, sure. <laughs> No, no, it's enough. 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 That's we why enough. your head's so dry. You're not nervous. There he goes. He was scalped by the Indians. <laughs> right before they scalped me, they gave me a new name. Walking with cancer. <laughs> Old lungs. <laughs> smoky, smoky lungs. Instead of a rain dance, they should do nicotine dances. <laughs> Be much more fruitful. Well, now you look like you have cancer. It's great. You're completely bald. You get used to it? Yeah. Now he has that cancer look. The carcinoma look. Yeah. You knew me like like seven years like the other way. You knew me like seven years. And we, we never got used to it. Yeah. And we never liked it. We were happy you got hair. Wait till Halloween. <laughs> You're scary enough. Yeah, now, now, you know, i got to be Scott for Halloween now. It's going to be much easier. Just made it much easier. Yeah, right. There you go. Just made it much easier. The Indians scalped me over the weekend. They left me with an Indian name. Hand of fire after my cigarettes. I always have fire coming out of my hand. And the Indians have never seen anything like it. They call me a wacky tobacco. They use me for smoke signals. I traded, I traded them cigarettes for corn at Thanksgiving. Or as it's known in Indian parlance, maize. <laughs> maize. <laughs> In my tribe, I'm the traded communication the... center. Even though they ran off with my hair, I respect the unions. I traded them three packs of matches for Queen. <laughs> <laughs> what a Monday. Funny, I saw the Indians. Before they scalped me, I showed them matches, and they made me their chief. <laughs> <laughs> I amazed them with fire. I am a god. <laughs> I am a superhero in the Indian land. <laughs> I breathe in the fire and blow out smoke. <laughs> My new Indian name walks with tumors. <laughs> I miss my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, maybe he should have kept the hair to blow out those smoke signals. <laughs> you guys are having way too much fun here. Right. Way too much I fun. Can, now I put my hair over the fire and I can blow out smoke signals. <laughs> Indian summer coming. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my hair sometimes, and sometimes it's very liberating to be without it. Do you feel free? I feel free. My wig keeps me warm in the winter and cold in the summer. That's why they call it wig warm. <laughs> wig warm. Get it? A little bald pun humor. Can't believe, man, your hair looks so good. I know. It really does. I don't know what. Well, so why would you take it off? I may put it on again. Yeah. I mean, you know. I think after today's show, he may yeah, put it back on. Run. Unless oh, you want to have this every day. Uh, I'll be right on the phone right now. I mean, I couldn't even goof on him anymore because he had hair. Yeah. So, I but guess you he did. It. <laughs> oh, I found I goofed on your cigarettes. Yeah. I couldn't goof on you being bald anymore. Well, you didn't you look bald. Didn't make sense. <laughs>
All right. Well, let me go take a break for commercial. We could start the show. I didn't realize we get distracted by hair discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least now we can goof on him again about his bald yeah, head and his cigarettes. A, a target again. Yeah, now we have more things to talk about. That's good. And uh, if you want to book me for a war dance, call 1-900-WIGGY-WOMMY. <laughs> you know what? Really, you can sell space on Sky's head. Yeah. For the Easter. <laughs> hey, can someone buy the space on your head now? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to advertise Rocket, you know, right there. Eat it, oh. Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Write something on his head. No, that's okay. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Well, one All right, let's take a break, Rob, and when we come back, we've got to be out of here and I'll be off this. If, as long as he sits here, I'll be yeah, talking about his head. Stop. He's so bald. <laughs> it's like a beacon to the bald. That's why I had the head on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a break and we'll be back right after these words.